Hello everyone, welcome to week five of semester two in world geography. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of the content that we'll be covering throughout the week. So let's start off by looking at the agenda. The lessons that we'll be focusing on are introduction to South America, early South American culture, the Incas, and the independence for South American and Central America. Some of the big questions that we're going to be focusing on are, what countries does South America consist of? What can we learn about it through its political and physical maps? How did early, Amer how did, how did early people in the region of South America adapt to the area? What are some achievements made by South American civilization and how did South America gain independence? When we're looking at our introduction to South America, we're going to look at that we're going to look at the map where it shows and displays that it lies south of Central America and the Caribbean Sea. This continent was first settled by American Indians. The countries on the map today began as European colonies. So we're going to be exploring the map by looking at the captions shown on Savas and through our own political and physical maps to understand the features of this area. We'll also talk about the largest country that we see through an interactive game that allows us to compare the sizes, what is unique about Bolivia's capital, and what pattern do you notice about the location of national capitals in South America? What are some facts that you know too? And what questions do you have based on any myths or stories that are in, of, that are of interest to you. <coughs> then we'll move on to early South American culture. We'll look at the native people of South America and how they had two main ways of making a living. We'll also look at analyzing the reasons to this and what factors might have affected this way of living or making a living. We'll then move on to looking at population density as we usually do and looking at the Andean civilizations where we'll be having a station activity um, for us to compare the similarities and differences between the three groups that we're exploring um, for civilizations in the Savas exercises and text. We'll then be also talking about the Incas through a case study each of us will create a poster or a slideshow or a Canva image that presents the following concepts. How did the Incan empire grow? How did they build a government? How did they unify the empire? And how did it end? So all of these are pieces to the puzzle for this topic that we're going to bring together through a collaborative exercise. Then we'll move on to the dependence for South American and Central for South America and Central America. Here we're creating a timeline to depict the major steps of South America's independence. This will also be something where we'll be integrating technology or your creative thinking skills and artistic skills. As mentioned, some of the activities that will be integrated throughout this week are the interactive galleries on Savas, the maps that we use for our map analysis skills, the timeline activity, a very fun flag activity for the smaller countries in South America, some graphic organizers to help you take notes, and lesson checks and current news. For our current news, we'll be looking for an episode on the Southern American um, region and any events that are happening in modern day society that we should know of when looking at this region. That's basically it. Make sure you review your BC pages and you follow up with your lesson exercises on Savas so that you don't, you know, carry over any missing assignments or, you know, a huge amount of material before upcoming quizzes or the final exam. That is all. If you have any questions, reach out to me via email or in person.